Welcome to a maths video taking a look at GCSE CERDs. Um, before we start here I just want us to define a couple of things. First of all an irrational number is simply a number that cannot be expressed as a fraction. So for example pi and the square root of 19. And CERDs are simply square roots which don't simplify to a whole number. So for example um, we could have the square root of 4 that is not a CERD because that will simplify to 2 but say the square root of 19 that um, that doesn't um, simplify to a whole number so that would be classified as a third. In general thirds are rational. Here we've got um, just some general rules as well. First of all um, when we're dealing with thirds if we've got the square root of a multiplied by the square root of b that's the same as the square root of a times by b. Um, then the square root of a multiplied by the square root of a is equal to a so if we've got um, the square root of the same number um, multiplied by itself it, it gives us that number that we sh that, um, that is inside the square root then we've got the square root of a divided by the square root of b which is equal to the square root of a divided by b so let's take a look at these in action and hopefully they'll make more sense once you see some examples so here we've got the square root of 3 multiplied by the square root of 7. What we could say is that this is the same as the square root of 3 multiplied by 7. So what I could say if I was to simplify this sum, I could say that this is the same as the square root of 21. Next I've got the square root of 3 times by the square root of 12. So that's going to give me the square root of 3 multiplied by 12, which is 36. And then I could say that the square root of 36 is simply 6. Next up I've got the square root of 5 multiplied by the square root of 5. Now if I think about this, what this means is that I've got the square root of 5 multiplied by 5. Or I could say that that's 5 multiplied by 5 is 5 squared. And hopefully what you can appreciate is that the square root will cancel out the square of 5. And so what we end up with is just simply 5. Um, next up we've got the square root of 32 multiplied by the square root of 2. That's going to give us the square root of 32 times by 2 which is 64. So we've got the square root of 64 which we can say is 8. Um, so this is the same idea as over here. Square root of c multiplied by the square root of c is just going to give us c. Then on to some division ones. We've got the square root of 18 divided by the square root of 3. What we can say here is that that is the same as the square root of 18 divided by 3, which gives us the square root of 6. Next up, we've got the square root of 12 divided by the square root of 3. Well, what we could say is that that's the same as the square root of 12 divided by 3. And 12 divided by 3, that's going to give us the square root of 4, which we could then say is the same as 2. On to um, kind of using the reverse process of this and simplifying um, kind of using the, the reverse rule. So here we've been using the fact that the square root of 3 multiplied by the square root of 7 is the square root of 21. Now we're just going to work backwards to simplify um, the, these um, examples here. So we've got the square root of 18. That What we could say here is that that is going to be the same as the square root of... 9 multiplied by 2 and what we could say there is that that is the same as the square root of 9 multiplied by the square root of 2 now this um, this square root here we can simplify that to a whole number the square root of 9 that's going to give us 3 so what we could say is that we've got 3 multiplied by root 2 now the way that we write that and you may have seen this on your calculator before is we can just write that as 3 root 2 and the 3 root 2 is it just simply means we've got 3 lots of root 2 or 3 times root 2 next one the square root of 75 what we could say is that that is the same as the um, square root of 25 multiplied by 3 which we could then say is the square root of 25 multiplied by the square root of 3 and then as we can see here the square root of 25 that will simplify to 5 
multiplied by the root 3, which we can write as 5 root 3. When we are answering these types of questions, what we are looking for is we are looking for a multiplication sum in um, that will make the number that is inside our square root. We're looking for a factor of our number to be a square number. So what I mean by that is factors of 18, factors of 18, you've got 1, 2, 3, 6, 9. 9 is a square root. So we're looking for that factor that is a square number. So in this example, factors of 40, we've got 1, that is a square number, but it's not very useful to us. 2 is a factor of 40. Then we've got 4 is a factor of 40. Now 4 is a square number. So what we could then say is that that is going to be the square root of 4 multiplied by the square root of 10. And then we can simplify um, we can simplify the square root of that of the square number. So the square number here is 4, so that's 2 root 10. Next up, we've got the square root of 200. So here we're looking for a square number again. What we could say is that that's the square root of 100 multiplied by the square root of 2. And so then we could say that that is 10 root 2. Notice here that 2 root 10 and 10 root 2 are completely different numbers. Um, sometimes people can get those two things confused and assume that they're the same thing. They are not the same thing. Next up we've got the square root of 48. So what we could say here is that this is um, the square root of, um, let's see, um, oh my mind's gone blank, um, ah, of course 4. We could say this, this is the square root of um, 4 multiplied by the square root of 12. And so then what we could then say is that we could simplify that to 2 root 12. Next one we've got the square root of 54. What we could do here is say that that is the square root of 9 multiplied by the square root of 6. And so then we could say square root of 9 that's going to be 3 root 6. Again always just looking for that factor of our number that is a square number. Um, this last one 3 the square root of 3 multiplied by the square root of 8. Now, going on these examples that we looked at over on the left, we could say that this is the square root of 24. Now, we're not quite finished here, and what some people might do is they might leave it at that point, but we're not quite done here. We know that this is the square root of 24 because it's the square root of 3 multiplied by 8. So that's where our 24 comes from. But now what we can spot about 24 is actually 24 has got a square number as one of its factors. We could say that the square root of 24 is exactly the same as the square root of 4 multiplied by the square root of 6. And at this point, the square root of 4, we can simplify that to 2. And so it's 2 multiplied by root 6. So our final answer would be 2 root 6 for this one.